Hey, good Sunday morning, everyone. This is Joe. Welcome to my scripture reflection for Sunday morning, April the 16th. Hope you're doing well on this Sunday morning. It is a week since we have celebrated Easter. But as I always say, these very important holidays, holy days, they should live within us every day. Every day is the resurrected Christ. Every day is a chance for new life for us. So that never changes. That's completely in our control. Have that mindset. Speaking of mindsets, I'm going to ask you to quiet your minds and hearts as we prepare to hear today's gospel, which is from St. John, chapter 20, verses 19 to 31. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book, but there are written that they may come, you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. Back when I worked in the so-called business world, I had an open door policy, except there were times when I had to close the door. There were matters that just needed privacy and needed some reason for the door to be closed. One of them was, I used to go to the gym sometimes, and I used to change in there, so I needed to have the door closed. Well, in one place where I worked, people would knock on the door and then open it, as if to say, well, I'm coming in anyway. It was quite annoying, actually, for that to happen, because the door, I felt, was closed for a reason. So I began to lock it, and once I locked it, obviously people could not get in. And then they would ask, why did you close and lock your door? I said, there's a reason for it. And I don't do it often, but there's a reason for it. Well, my friends, that story came back to me as I was praying over this gospel, because sometimes there is a door locked for us. Something in our life is locked. And you know who has the reason for it? Jesus does. Jesus has the reason that the door is locked and we can't get to the other side. Even though we think we want to get there, Jesus has another idea, and it's almost always, if not always, in our best interest. How do we reconcile this? How do we come to peace with this? If there's something we want to do and we're locked from it, and Jesus is locking it from us, how do we come to that rec reconciliation? We come to it by what he said to the disciples. Peace be with you. We bring ourselves to a place of peace. We offer more peace to others. We offer more compassion to others. And then all of a sudden, yes, the reason for that locked door comes clear to us. And maybe the door even opens. My friends, I feel we are at a place in our world right now where compassion and peace is starting to dwindle way too much in our life. We need to return it. We need to return it with an absolute enthusiasm. And I have ways I want to do that once my website is completed, and I will share them with you. But if you're someone who feels like peace and compassion is what we need for the world and to realize why some doors are locked, then I ask you to keep in contact with me, and we will take a good journey together. 
Well, my friends, that's my message for you on this Sunday. I hope it was helpful. I always ask for your comments, your thoughts, your feedback. I welcome them. I wish you all a wonderful Monday, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Take care, everyone.